Chapter 7, review number 2, we're going to take a look at special right triangles. So we're going to review the Pythagorean theorem and we're going to review the special right triangles, the 45, 45, 90 and the 30, 60, 90. So quickly, just to review the Pythagorean theorem, it's a theorem that we should all know and have memorized, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We could basically solve any missing side of a right triangle if we have two of the sides we just need to find the third. C is always the hypotenuse. Now I trust in the algebra, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time actually going into it, but just setting it up, you know, I could say that this is my A and B, since this is the hypotenuse, that would be my C. So it would be A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And then you would use algebra to solve for X, right? You'd 4 squared and 9 squared, you add those together, square root, etc, etc. Now, the variable isn't always the hypotenuse. So on this one, you know, these are my two legs. My hypotenuse is given to me. So the way that we would set it up, we would then go through and we'd solve it that way. Right, subtract the 5 squared on both sides and then square root. So now let's get into the special triangles. Now our special triangles, they have these special ratios. So the 45, 45, 90, the two legs are equal and the hypotenuse has whatever it is what the side is with a root two as well. And then the 30, 60, 90 triangle, the shortest side could be any number, then the, the longest leg has that number root 3 and then the hypotenuse is going to be 2 times that shortest leg. Now I call these keys and the main reason is just it kind of like unlocks the rest of the problem. So what we're gonna do is if we have these two triangles memorized all we need to do is then just compare the triangles to whatever the problem is and then we can use it almost as like a puzzle to figure out what those missing sides are. So let's look at this first one. So looking at this, it's a 45, 45, 90. And the reason I know is because these are two are equal. And it's the only way that if they're equal, it has to be 45, 45, 90. So comparing it, we said it's t, t, t root 2. So now I, it's like almost like I'm setting my triangles equal to each other. So that means that this equals 7, this equals x, and then this equals y. Well, we just said t is 7. Well, that also means if I plug that into here, x is 7. And then if I plug my t into here, 7 root 2. So all I did was I just kind of compared the two triangles together found what that t is or that variable is and then I was able to plug it into the rest of my triangle. So let's look at another one. So this looks like a 30, 60, 90 triangle because 30 degrees which means this has to be 60 degrees. So this right here is my shortest side. So we'll say that that's t. So maybe I'll draw the... So 60, 30, so t, t root 3, and 2t. That's what we have to have memorized. So comparing it, this equals t, y equals t root 3, and 10 equals 2t. So now solving that, I can find what t is here. t is 5. So then plugging it back into both of these, x is going to equal 5 and y is going to equal 5 root 3. Let's do one more. Now this one it's a little different. We're just going to have to do a little bit more algebra. The process is the same. I'm going to compare it. 30 degrees, 60 degrees. So here is t t root 3 and 2t. So all of that's the same. It's just the algebra is a little bit, you know, more difficult. So this still equals x, this still equals y. But here, my t root 3 equals 5. 
So I just have to divide both sides by root 3. So t equals 5 over root 3. Now technically, we still have to rationalize it. Can't divide by root. So multiply top and bottom by root 3. You're going to get 5. That's messy. 5 root 3 all over 3. So then I take that, plug it in, plug it in. So I'm going to get 5 root 3 over 3 equals x. And 2 times 5 root 3, so that's going to be 10 root 3 over 3. That's going to equal y. All right, so I want you guys to practice a few of these. So go ahead and pause it and practice this one. All right, so going over it, comparing it to the key, t, t, t root 2, because it's a 45, 45, 90. So that's going to equal 4. That's going to equal x. That's going to equal y. So that means x equals 4 if I plug them in, and y equals 4 root 2. All right, I want you guys to practice this one. So let's go over it. So comparing it, that should equal t. That should equal t root 3. And that should equal 2t. So then plugging what the values for t are, you're going to get y equals 3 root 3. And x equals 3 times 2, which is 6. All right, once you guys give this one a shot. All right, so comparing it, this is going to be t root 3, this is going to be 2t, and this is going to equal t. So this is one another one of those like weird algebra ones. So dividing both sides by root 3, I have to rationalize that. So 9 over root 3 equals t, root 3 over root 3. So 9 root 3 over 3, those reduce, so you get 3 root 3. So now I'm plugging that back in for y, plugging that back in for x, and so you're going to get y equals 3 root 3, and you're going to get x equals 6 root 3. Multiply it by 2. So this one's going to be a little bit different. I want you guys to give this one a shot, and we're going to talk about it. Okay, so based upon what we know, we have a 45, 45, 90 right next to a 30, 60, 90. Well, since these are the same side, these are equal to each other. So from what we know for the 30, 60, 90, this is my hypotenuse, so that's 2t. My shortest leg would be this one here, so that's going to be t, which is just 15. And then this one's going to be 15 root 3, because it's t root 3. Well, since these are equal to each other, and then this is t root 2 as a ratio, and since my t in this triangle here is only 15, that's going to be 15 root 2. So for my y, I have 15 root 2, and then I have to add these together. Now, we don't say 15 plus 15 root 3 is 30 root 3. They're two different terms. We have to leave them separate like that. And that's our answer. All right, so to close today's lesson, what did we learn today? Well, we briefly talked about the Pythagorean theorem, and then we talked about the special triangles, the 45, 45, 90, and the 30, 60, 90 triangle, and be able to find the missing pieces of it. So what are the ratios of a 45, 45, 90 triangle? The ratios are going to be t, t, t root 2. And then what are the ratios of a 30, 60, 90 triangle? Those are going to be t, t root 3, and 2t. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.